First, I'm going to say uh, I congrats on the movie. I had I watched without knowing where exactly what was going on. Like I hadn't seen a trailer or anything, and uh, it kept me guessing. For I'm just going to say congrats. Thank, Thank you, uh, Justice. I want to start with you. Um, yeah. So the last time I saw you was in Brazil, and I'm just curious uh, how much you enjoyed standing in front of thousands of people trying to promote something. Um, Sebastian is probably used to it. Um, it was my second time doing it. Um, I have a mint in my mouth and it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, it was my second time doing it. So it wasn't as like, wow, as the first time, but it was still like pretty wow. Uh, I, I have this fascination with being on stage and being watched but not doing anything. Like specifically when like other people would answer questions, I would just look at the crowd and I was like, I'm home. <laughs> I'm being watched I don't know nothing. what it is about my personality. I'm a narcissist or something. I don't know. I just really like sitting there and being observed. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm addicted to that feeling. I wish I could. That, that's not the answer I was expecting. Um, Sebastian, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> Sebastian yeah. I'll ask you, you've obviously done stuff where you're standing in front of thousands of people talking about promoting something. I'm curious if you enjoy that or is it something that you're in your head a little bit? I always, uh, <laughs> I always just wonder how I'm going to get through that uh, <laughs> for about like, the first hour up to and then once I finally get outside like the energy is usually so mm -hmm. impactful that I actually kind of you know get excited in a way and it and it and then it just feels like I'm more present than than I ever would think I am but it's always sort of like this you know I mean we're not some of us, we're not rock stars, you know, like, I'm, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know, maybe Justice, you are, I have no idea. But, my heart. you know, it's just, you're, yeah, like, it's like, this is what maybe being at a concert, you know, that you're on that stage, it's just, it's a wild feeling. Uh, Sebastian, you danced in Fresh, uh, and you dance in this movie, and I'm just curious if that means it's in your contract going I'm forward. Trying to stay alive, Steve. That's, that's it, you know, just doing the best I can. If someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Someone has never seen anything that we've done before. What's the first thing we would like them to watch? Like from our career? It's funny you should say <laughs> that because as a way to prepare for this, I actually sent uh, Brianna a gift set of the Gossip Girl uh, series that, that I was involved in. And I just, I just said to her, I don't know, you might want to watch this it's before we movie. enter into this scene. Yeah, it's good prep, good prep. It helped. I like to call methods, Steve. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I've heard that about you. For me, uh, what would I want people to watch of mine if they never? I have a lot of stuff that I'm really proud of, and I have a lot of stuff that I'm not as proud of. And uh, I would say probably the get down. Yeah. Probably the get down. That's good. Baz Luhrmann. Oh, good. man. Baby. That's good show. Yeah, that was a good show. That was a fun experience. Yeah. Um, got about two choices, so I'll go with this one. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> I also enjoyed your work in Tender Bar. You could say oh, that. Oh, thanks. Dude, was Tender Bar was amazing. Thanks. It was that fun. That was great. Was yeah. Good, good entry and that was point. Such, a, such an entirely different character. I know. She's dope. I, I actually saw movie. Tender Bar after we worked together. Oh, nice. So, very fun. Um, very fun. Yeah, look, I don't know, Steve. I, I really don't. <laughs> you know, I, like part of me in my head, I'm like, what, what was I like the most terrible at? So that then, like, maybe I can like try and like, you know, top that. Oh, subvert expectations. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. When we work together. Yeah, no, all, all three of you are really good in Sharper. And speaking of Sharper, I'm curious, one of the things about this uh, is that the film keeps you guessing the entire way through. So I'm curious for all three of you, what was it like reading the script for the first time and how much had you been told about ultimately the arcs or how much were you reading it, the script for the first time and being like, holy, what is going on here? I think we got everything. Um, I mean, when I read it, I was just, I was just, doing what you explained exactly, just thinking, oh, I have this figured out. And then 10 pages later, it's completely destroyed and put on its head. Um, and I knew it'd be a really exciting thing to experience in a film. Uh, 
yeah, very exciting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I read it all in one sitting, which is very rare to me because my brain is broken um, and I can't focus on anything. I'm just thinking about you enjoying being watched. <laughs> I, 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 speak I just thought that's what you were just doing, but I do yeah. love. I don't know what it is. I really like just sitting here. We watch me, Steve. <laughs> Will you watch me, Steve? <laughs> but no, I really, I, I, I got through it pretty quickly because uh, it was, it was amazing. I never knew where it was gonna go next, and I, and I highly suggest audiences do the same. Go in blind and, and don't, don't look up anything about it um, except this interview specifically because we won't spoil anything. But uh, because it, it'll take you on a wild ride, and you won't be disappointed. It was not a predictable outcome. You know, like you, you don't really like get to read a lot of things that you don't see that really surprise you that you don't see what, you know, things coming the way that they they do in this film. And it was just there were all it didn't explain too much. It was just it just led, you know, it made you kind of have your own impression and about the characters and like their backgrounds without giving you like too much of explanation, you know. Brianna, I would imagine that when you were offered this role, it was um, well, obviously it's a cool movie, but it allows you as an actor to show so many different sides of your uh, yourself, the range of what the character goes through. Can you sort of talk about um, playing a character like this that allows you to show so many different things? Yeah, um, it was as exciting as it was terrifying. Um, I mean, it's an it, it's an actor's dream to get to play, you know, essentially different people in one film. Uh, I was joking that I don't ever have to audition again. People just need to watch this film <laughs> and be like, oh, okay, she can do that. Um, no, I mean, I tried not to get too heady about uh, how different she was in different points in the film. I think I just tried to lock down on the things that were similar and um, to uh, ground me in just a, you know, a through line of truth throughout the whole movie. And if, th if things were different, it was more technical than anything. It was, you know, body language or um, voice stuff. Uh, yeah, I just really tried to be present. Justice has been saying this the whole time, like presence is kind of a good safe place to be mm -hmm. the whole time, just dealing with what's in front of you mm -hmm. and playing the sincerity of it. Mm -hmm. Were you ever shooting different parts of the movie on the same day? And there, because each chapter is sort of, it has its own aesthetic. So what was that sort yeah. of like? Yeah, the answer is yes. Um, the nature of filming in general, like if you have a location booked, you're going to bang out all of the things that are in that location. And so that would often require us to shoot. Uh, I mean, you know, shooting is always out of order, but, you know, we would shoot kind of, we would overlap different perspectives and pick mm -hmm. up different shots depending on uh, which character we were focusing on in that part of the movie, even though like earlier that day it was like more focused on my character and then you know later that day it might be more focused on Brianna's character or, or whatever um but yeah it's kind of all packaged in a nice organized way so that uh uh we can meet our days <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? because I wanted to see how that thought was going to end <laughs> Because I'm my head, I'm I you, you I lost I, you like at least you ten know what words. I'm saying? No, 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 of oh, course no. I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. I just I, I just I've been there. Like I know <laughs> you're like I knew where this was going. So, anyway. I can see that you guys had a very very tough time making this movie, and you did not like each other. Yeah, very true. Oh, so awful. I think we had a lot of fun. And that was one of the things like Ben would always be like, less is more, less is more. At least with me, he would always be like, remember, just like one look rather than, you know, a whole face of expressions. Mm. Um, so it was, he was actually really great to because there's a, a lot of directors don't <laughs> a lot of directors don't give you the technical side of it. And here we got the technical side to go mm. with, you know, mm. the emotional mm -hmm. uh, direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sebastian, I'm just I'm, I'm just about out of time, but I have to ask you an individual question. Um, you obviously are gearing up this year to play Bucky again. It's been a little while since you've played the role. Is it something that you are looking forward to getting back to? Uh, and what is it? Are you, what can you tease people about Thunderbolts? No, of course. Like I, you know, as always, it's it's always a pleasure going back. And and you know, I think now we have like it's an exciting time because this character can kind of go every which way. We sort of opened up 
the door for him in a lot of ways. But I, I haven't read the script. I still hasn't have not been sent it. So um, <laughs> it's pretty much on par as as it, as how it usually goes. So mm -hmm. I've heard good things. Um, I'm also I think this that the film. I'm really excited it. about the cast. Like, there's a lot of great people in there. Like, oh, that I was really I'm looking forward to working with. Yeah, da David Harbour was telling me that he's looking forward to shooting Stranger Things five and Thunderbolts at exactly the same time. That's oh, crazy. Shit. Yeah. I don't know how he's going to do that. Uh, Atlanta. That's how. Right. Maybe <laughs> he's know? not in our movie that much. I don't know. Right. Don't quote <laughs> me. I didn't say that. He's a great guy. I love David. Sure. Listen, um, I, I got to wrap. I'm just going to say congrats on the movie. Uh, thank you for giving me your time. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.